Thanks for checking out this unboxing, and it's time once again to do the Box of Dread, um, one of two boxes that I'm continually getting. Um, I might add a box of something else here or there, but for now, I'm just doing Box of Dread, and I'm doing the BAM box. Um, this is the, I want to remind everyone if they don't remember, or they, this is the first time they're seeing this, $20 box, very cheap, definitely for horror fans. Um, I've liked the items in there thus far, so we'll have to see how this July one is. Yes, July. And we got it in July, which it's been one of my biggest pet peeves with a lot of companies when you don't actually get the box in the month or even close to the month that it's supposed to be for. So, Box of Dread's been good. I think the only time that I, I did one of these unboxings for Box of Dread late is when it was my fault because I was on vacation. So, I just couldn't get to it. All right, so here we go. Sorry, shaking everything. So they have been doing posters, which I'm not huge on posters, but the ones that they've been putting in here, fortunately, have been kind of cool. Um, so they have been doing posters. We'll see if they do another poster. I kind of expect that they will since the last two months it have been. Um, but last month they had a poster for the Howling comic book, which has come out already, which I need to get my hands on because I love the Howling. I need to check that out. And the one before that was like a page out of the Necronomicon uh, from like Ash vs. Evil Dead and Ash vs. Army of Darkness, all that stuff. Or Army of Darkness. Alright, a little bit of packing on the top. And, oh, I think we got another DVD. Oh, we got a little, yeah, okay. Uh, just like a little Cyclops thingy. Uh, looks like kind of Ray Harryhausen-esque. Let's see if I can yeah, you focus a little bit better. Eh. I probably won't keep this. These things I'd rather than just kind of not throw in. You don't really need to. Just save your, save your the money on, you know, these little type things. I don't really need it. Not something I'm that interested in. Is there another one? There's there's another one. Oh, this one's actually way cooler, though. This is, a, this is like a psychotic clown with, like... His guts hanging out. I don't know if you can really see. Yeah, you can kind of see it. And I can't even, like, see. Okay. Well, hopefully hopefully you could see it well enough. But reminds me a tad bit of um, Violator. You know, the clown guy from uh, Spawn. Sorry if you hear my cat yelling in the background. I just got home and she wants attention. Psst. Quiet. All right. So those are done. I think we got... All right. Oh. No, not all right. Uh, I was thinking it would just be like a mystery mini from Funko. So they're switching it up, which is fine. They're doing a Titan vinyl figure, which honestly, I don't like the look of these Titan vinyl figures, especially because you'll see they have like nor like much larger heads than their bodies and their bodies look kind of realistic. And then just their, their bodies look weird. Like the head to body proportion is just odd to me. And I don't really like that about these. Plus, this is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I know a lot of people like Buffy, so I can't really blame them for putting a Buffy thing in here, but I don't really care about Buffy. I mean, I'll open this up and take a look in a minute, but I just don't, I'm just not a Buffy person. I do love Joss Whedon, though, so maybe I should watch it at some point because I am a Joss Whedon fan. So, next one. I think this is, yeah, okay, so DVD epic another epic one which figures because they're now you know epic bought uh box dread and this one is day of reckoning and it says hell will rise take a look at it first and then i'll day of reckoning looks like pterodactyls and stuff maybe and it says uh 15 years ago the world suffered a horrific global disaster when mi millions of demon-like creatures ascended from the bowels of the earth swarming the entire planet and feasting on mankind for one full day. Now, due to a lunar eclipse, they have returned for 24 hours to purge the earth's population once more. Okay. I mean, I'll check it out. I'm always down to get uh, DVDs because I like checking out new horror movies, so that's always fine with me. Next. What is this? Letter from the Kill Crew. Oh, they've got all these things in here about stuff. Well, I'm not going to read too much of that at the moment, just to make sure if 
there's spoilers or something for what else is in here. Um, okay. A uh, little trial thing for Shutter, which actually I used the last one, uh, which I'm on at the moment. So, Shutter is a good service. I think it, uh, if you're gonna pay for it, honestly, it's only like fifty bucks for like an entire year. So I subscribe to it now at, because of Box of Dread, actually. So there you go, Shutter. It's paying off. Um, I like it. You can get plenty of movies, so that's totally sweet. So, yeah. I have a comic book. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Yes, I'm very excited about this. So they basically teased this. Um, bag and boarded comic book. It's the number the one, number one issue. I'll slip it out of here for because of the glare. <sighs> the Howling comic. As I was just saying to everyone, I gotta get a hold of the Howling comic. Yes, Box of Dread, thank you so much. Oh, that's exciting. I love it. So, yeah. I've, I've gotten big into comics within the past few months, and I've just been tearing through comics, so... Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Oh, so glad about that comic. And then a uh, Box of Dread sticker. Cool. I'll just put it on like my beer fridge in the basement. All good. Oh, I guess I should open this Buffy... Is there anything? There are some some rare ones, which is cool. One and two that are one and forty, two that are one and twenty, and three that are two and twenty. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to figure out what that is. So, looks like it might be. Oh, it's Spike. Is that who this is? Yeah, Spike. Two and twenty. You know, pretty common. Um, yeah. Look, everybody. It's Spike and his hands move. His arms move. That's fine. I mean, whatever. I just don't like the look of these things. They're weird. Like, look at how, like, misshapen their bodies are. It's like, it's like they don't have necks or anything. It's just a head on, like, a squatty-ass body. I don't like it. I don't like these things. I'm just not a fan of the design, so. I like the idea of putting, like, mystery box or mystery bag things in for these. Um, but, like, you know, horror mystery minis. Like, Funko mystery minis or pint size or, like, anything like that. I just I don't like the Titan vinyl things. Um, maybe some kid robot stuff. They have they do some cool stuff. All right, so there's a letter from the Kill Crew. So, I don't know if there's... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so they, they do have, they are now putting, like, on the back of this thing, like, what is in the box and, like, a little bit of an ex explanation of what's in there. So that's, I mean, I don't really need that. I'll just open it and look at the stuff. But I guess it's cool for some people. They want that kind of stuff. But, um, oh, my gosh. Well, there's a lot to read in here. So I don't think there's anything we're not allowed to kind of share. So honestly, what I'll do... I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'm just going to show you. Oh, it's going to be hard for you to see here. So you can like pause on it if you want to. And then over here. See? Yeah, you're probably not going to be able to read that. But at any rate, overall, box is fine. I mean, this isn't my favorite of their boxes. It's probably my least favorite of the boxes I've gotten. Um, mainly because of this thing, uh, yeah. But I am very excited about the Howling comic. Very, very excited about that. So that and this make, I mean, basically make it worth it. It's a $14 box with $6 shipping. So $14 for these two things, fine. Like, value's there, no problem. And that's the thing, one of the things I really, really like about this box. I feel like it's very low risk. Um, for how little you're paying and um, how, how many things you are getting, you're going to like something or a few things. Even if you don't like something like this or like these little things, like there's going to be something at some point. And it's, you know, worth 20 bucks a month to just take a gamble, in my opinion. But I like it. I mean, even though this hasn't been my favorite, uh, at least I got, you know, I'll check out the movie for sure. And I'm very, very excited about the comic. So. We're good. Um, Box of Dread, keep doing what you're doing, John. Uh, one guy handling Box of Dread, so I know it's a lot of work, man. I uh, really appreciate it. I know you hustle your ass off. 
Uh, I'm going to read what's in here and then uh, in the next uh, unboxing for August, I forgot what month we were in, <laughs> in the unboxing for August, maybe I'll tell you if there was anything important that was in here you should know. But anyway, thank you for checking this out. Look for my next unboxing, which I don't know what it'll be. But until next time, keep it brutal.